Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my fangirl favorites for April 2019. So, quick disclaimer, before I head into this month's nerdy goodness, uh, anything that I'm about to talk about in this particular video, nothing with spoilers, so continue to watch freely as you wish. Um, so yeah, what did I do this month, things that I enjoyed? Uh, not too much, but still some pretty exciting things. Um, finally got around to watching Shazam. I believe Shazam was released this month, wasn't it? Uh, starring Zachary Levi, and it's a DC movie. Um, I really enjoyed Shazam, you guys. It was really, really good. Um, obviously very funny and humorous, um, but definitely a nice, like, warm heart to it that I wasn't expecting because um, when I was kind of reading reviews about the movie prior to even going to the movie, um, I was reading a lot of stuff that um, the trailers left out a lot. It, it left out the big plot. The trailers were mostly kind of focusing on the humor and the comedy. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of pleasant twists and turns and surprises with the Shazam movie because yeah, the trailer definitely does not show you everything. It doesn't really give you what the main big premise is. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed Shazam. Um, I've said it before, DC movies are very hit or miss for me. Um, whereas with Marvel, Marvel comic movies, I tend to love them all. I've I've honestly never had a problem with any of the Marvel movies. Um, just their mood and tone and flow, that's just kind of what I prefer for comic book movies. And yeah, DC has always had a, a bit of a struggle there. They're, it just A lot of their movies just don't really appeal to me. Um, but yeah, so far, out of all the DC movies that have been released, yeah, Shazam, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman are definitely my favorites. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm excited to see what DC comes up with next. But yeah, as far as movies, that was kind of all I got around to this month. Um, um, I believe I did see Dumbo this month, but yeah, me and my sister, we already did a Disney Rewind review for Dumbo or like earlier in the month. So yeah, if you want to see our thoughts on Dumbo, go check out that review that we did, uh, I believe, earlier this month. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it for movies. Um, yeah, where I am filming this particular video, uh, yeah, the latest Avengers Endgame movie, that is coming out today on the day that I am, like I said, I am filming this video. So yeah, uh, I won't have any type of review for uh, Avengers Endgame in this video, unfortunately. But yeah, me and my sister are thinking about doing a a entire review on it to post sometime in May. So yeah, stay tuned for our thoughts on this latest Avengers movie. Um, so yeah, that was it for movies. Like always, I watch a lot of TV, you guys. Uh, April has been full of a lot of good stuff. Uh, Gotham ended. Oh, I love Gotham. Does anybody else watch Gotham? I freaking love Gotham. You know, it's an origin story to Batman and Batman's villains, pretty much. And yeah, it had its series finale, and I was so sad. I, I was pretty satisfied with the finale, though. Um, I mean, you can't please everybody. There's certain things you just you're gonna miss out on for a finale, but yeah, in general, I was pretty satisfied with the Gotham finale. Um, yeah, Orville had a season finale. I have really been enjoying the Orville this season. Some some episodes have been a bit hit, hit or miss, but for the most part, a very strong second season, I think. American Gods. American Gods has been a bit of a bit of a slow going arc of this season, but for the most part I've really been enjoying American Gods as well. Some pretty shocking things have happened, which I'm a little devastated about, but I kind of knew they were coming. <laughs> Killing Eve also came back here in the month of April. I adore Killing Eve. If you guys have not gotten into Killing Eve, I really highly recommend it. Uh, on, on the surface it just seems like a kind of like a psychological thriller about um, this woman named Eve who is going after a female serial killer. It's so much more than that. The, the show is very witty and darkly humorous and comedic and 
Uh, yeah, it's focused on two very tough, badass women. Yeah, a female uh, serial killer, which you don't see very often. And yeah, a female, uh, uh, another lady played by Sandra O, oh, who is, you know, going after the serial killer and whatnot. Um, so yeah, Killing Eve has been brilliant this season. I've been loving it. So yeah, if you've not caught up with it, you need to, because I think you're missing out. I also watched the second season of, of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Huh. You know, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, you're either going to love it or hate it. It just kind of depends on, I guess, what you enjoy with the show, perhaps. But yeah, I've, I've personally been enjoying The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. It is definitely not, you know, the old 90s show, you know, star starring Melissa Joan Hart. It is definitely not that, so wipe that from your head. <laughs> but yeah, Chilly Ad Adventures of Sabrina, yeah, just darkly comedic, and yeah, all these characters, they they worship Satan, <laughs> and it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy Sab the character of Sabrina and all the surrounding people, and yeah, if you loved Salem from the original show, Salem's a highlight. He's not in it very much, but when he does pop up, it's like, yay! <laughs> so, yeah, has that been it for shows? I mean, like I said, I watch a lot of stuff, you guys. There's a lot I watch. Um, oh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is the big one. I'm not going to sit here and talk about Game of Thrones, because I've been doing weekly reviews for Game of Thrones. So, yeah, let's not talk about that. I, I can sit here and talk about it for hours, if you guys let me. So yeah, you guys, if you're not aware, I have been doing Game of Thrones videos. Uh, they are about 45 minutes apiece when I do do the videos. So yeah, if you're a fellow obsessive Game of Thrones fan, I highly recommend you go check out my reviews and come chit-chat with me. I love talking all things at Game of Thrones. And yeah, it's been such a really fantastic season so far. And I am, I'm full of anxiety and nerves. I just can't imagine what is going to happen by the time we get to the very end of the series. And, you guys, I don't talk about music very often on this channel. Uh, but yeah, uh, something that I was particularly excited about uh, this month as far as music goes, uh, I got the new Avril Lavigne CD. Uh, this CD is called Head Above Water. This is what it looks like. She's she's pretty much naked. I think there's just a guitar there covering her up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when I was in high school, uh, I vividly recall Avril Lavigne being the big popular artist back when I was in high school. You know, when she first came out, she kind of had the thing with like the suspenders and the, the tie and yeah, the way her hair was and her whole look. She had just that really punk and grunge look kind of mixed with a bit of a poppy look. And uh, yeah, I just remember in high school, yeah, Avril, Avril, Avril Lavigne, especially at my high school, was very popular. And yeah, there were always a lot of girls dressed just like her, how she used to look back in the early days. So yeah, I was very excited to get the latest by Avril Lavigne, and yeah, a pretty good CD! Um, uh, not as good as some of her early CDs, I don't think, but I did, I still enjoyed a good chunk of the CD and found myself loving uh, a large set of the songs. And yeah, this, this CD is just much more, I feel like the CD is much more emotional and personal, because yeah, Avril Lavigne over the past several years has kind of gone through a lot with just her her physical health and whatnot, and uh, yeah, you can definitely kind of read into that with the lyrics of this uh, particular CD, and yeah, you can ju you just get the vibe that this is a very personal, kind of private uh, CD to her in some ways. Um, but yeah, a really good CD. Have, has anyone else listened to the latest by Avril Lavigne? <laughs> um, so, so yeah, that's it for movies television pretty much. I guess let's move on to a few nerdy merchandise items that I got. I mentioned the Game of Thrones a little while ago. I got this rock candy version of Arya Stark. This is so cute. I love the detail of this. And yeah, I uh, as far as Game of Thrones rock candies go, I have previously purchased one with Daenerys and then I got one with Sansa a couple months ago. But yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get Arya because she's so cute looking. And then you guys, I about flipped when I saw this particular item. You should have seen me. I was at Barnes & Noble. I saw this. I about went whack and I just immediately picked it up and I didn't even pay attention. I didn't even pay attention to what the price was and, and, and but I didn't really care what the price was because I was like I must have this in my life. 
let's start here. Let's let's show the outside of this thing. It looks like a pillow. <laughs> it looks like a pillow. I guess you can treat it as a pillow. And yeah, what it says here on the front, I can't even see what it says. It says Honey Duke's Chocolate Frog. And yeah, if you're a Harry Potter fan, in the Harry Potter books and movies, the characters, they'll get these little boxes of chocolate and they open them up and inside is a chocolate frog and a card. And it's just a big part of the wizarding world and whatnot. So yeah, I found this at uh, Barnes and Noble, like I said, and it almost looks like a pillow, but then there's a little zipper here. You open it. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. And, and look at this. Inside is the chocolate frog. I don't know how, I don't know how good you can see that, but yeah, you can sit and pull him out. You can pull a little chocolate frog out. It is so adorable. Or yeah, you can sit him, you can just sit the chocolate frog right there on top. It is adorable. Ah, oh, seriously, like I said, I about freaked. And I think, I think this was like 40 freaking dollars. You guys, it was like 40 freaking dollars. Uh, yeah, let's just say uh, I splurged. Uh, I don't know if I should have splurged, but I did. I didn't care. I was like, I must have this in my life. And yeah, it is so cute. I love it. If you're a Harry Potter fan, I feel like this is a must for all Harry Potter fans. Because it's just really well designed and just yeah just really beautiful looking and yeah i have it sitting over here over here on top of some books and i just kind of have it sitting like this on my books like well you can see the little frog out of it but yes so adorable so you guys uh i do believe that is it for your uh my nerdy goodness for this month not much going on uh i'm kind of hoping for some more stuff from may may should be pretty thrilling and exciting i know the spanish princess is coming out in may early may and is good omens coming out i think good omens is coming out too which which has david Tennant and michael sheen i'm very really excited about good omens um so yeah i think may is gonna have a lot of good stuff for me to talk about at the end of that month uh so you guys in the comments below what things have you fangirled or fanboyed about this month it could be anything movies television books, whatever, video games, anything that floats your boat, just let me know down below. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye guys.